sitting at the feet of Christ to feed on his word. And that's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. All this morning we define, define, we want thy good. One day in our soul we just forget them. All of the because just like come on. And I know me because serve God. But where will they go? Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. God bless every one of you for coming. Amen. Thank God, say not be sickness. Carry us go put for bed. When we cause not go walk. You don't see your food, don't they? They don't they call you say engine day when you want to drop. Praise God. What's the destiny said? Okay, good. Praise God. All right, we are not going to take much time right now. Please, the time is hot now. Please work on that time so that Pastor Francis will know when is to round up. One hour from now. Please let's join our hands together, put it together. Let's celebrate this great man of God. Always busy. Always busy. Please, thank you for coming. Celebrate it one more time while we hand this mic over to him to bless us. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. More grace, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. I want to thank God for this privilege to stand before everyone. I equally want to celebrate grace, the leadership of this commission, that the God of all grace will continue to strengthen and empower in the name of Jesus. Praise God. It's a thing of joy to stand here today because this is a world that failed me to the level where I am today. Praise God. So many of folks will never thought or rather never see it that someday like this we'll be standing to address multitude. But we started from somewhere. Praise God. Please help me celebrate our father in the house. Help me celebrate him. Praise God. You know, just this morning, while I was inside the car coming, you know, a word dropped in my spirit. As a result of the seed, our father did so into our heart. You know, a lot of us we went to different paths. And along the line, because of the seed, he placed in our hearts. You know, we were able to succeed in so many ways and there were a lot of inconveniences whereby people you know, do all manner of manipulation you know, to take advantage. But for all grace, they that do know their God, they shall be strong. Praise the Lord. This morning, I'm not going to waste much of your time. I think I have an hour and 30 minutes in all. As I, I celebrate you, sir. Just like Papa said, when I saw what I saw this morning, it gives me more courage. And I pray God will continue to help everyone in the name of Jesus. Please help me celebrate evangelists. is one of the keys of pillar in the house. Hallelujah. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Hallelujah. Our music director, I cite you. You are blessed. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I'm going to be speaking on committed competence and character. Praise God. And along the line, I'm going to be drafting in so many other things. Hallelujah. You know, I discovered that today in church, there are so many uh, how will I say? Zeal without knowledge. Zeal without knowledge. That people don't know when to apply restriction. Praise God. So I'll charge every one of folks that whatever you are receiving this morning, I want you to put into consideration and ensure you imbibe with it. Father, glorify yourself this morning that as we eat your word, let it dwell richly in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Praise God. I want every one of us to take note that uniformity is not a doctrine in Christianity. Uniformity is not a doctrine in Christianity. Why? You see today that we have a lot of challenges in the body of Christ. 
you will see a member of so-so-so church will be comparing to say, ah, this is how they do it. Mind you, when you see something good, bring it home, you know, and see how the people in your home will feed into it. Something you know that will be healthy. Praise God. Not comparing, trying to destabilize your strength. Why am I saying this? Because when you go out there, you see that there are diverse uniformity, which is not a doctrine. In Christianity, I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Now, being an ordained minister or rather leader, there are several competence that is needed. Several competence that is needed. If you are there with your Bible, I want you to turn with me to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel chapter 16. Fact Samuel 16, I'll be reading 17, 17 down to 19. He said, And Saul said unto his servant, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. They answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing and a mighty valiant man and a man of war and prudent in matters and comely person and the Lord is with him. Wherefore so sent messenger unto Jesse and said send me David thy son which is which is with the sheep. Praise God. So you must understand that competence, as a leader, competence is required from you. Everyone here under the sound of my voice, you have competence. Praise God. Just like I said, we are not like this. But our heart, we are open, whereby what we are receiving, you know, it was having a very efficient, you know, strength in us. And that is how we continue to grow. Not whereby you, because you see this, you just want to just jump into it, whereby you don't know the strength behind it. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. So you must understand that competence means to be efficient and capable. Be capable. You must be capable. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 29. You must be diligent. Are we together? Diligence is required. Just like I said, I said I'm encouraged to see that the people that is sitting down here this very morning, not everybody, not everybody will sacrifice that time. In as much you want to make him part in this kingdom, your sacrifice, your competence is required. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. In that verse 29, it says, See that a man diligent in his business. He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mere men. When you are diligent and you are competent, you cannot stand before mere men. I tell you, people will have to think they want to reason themselves before they approach you. Hello? When they see that you are just any half fellow, that is how they will address. But may that not be a portion in the name of Jesus. Why am I saying this? You know, some new personality can just walk into the church. Or better still, you, the church will reach out to people, you know, talk to people, invite them to church. You know, we all know that church is a draconi place. People are looking for where they will have comfort. Where they can experience next level in their life. True or false? So mind you, when they not step in, and what they are seeing is not encouraging. I tell you, next time you will not see them. True or false? Even as a workman, when you are given a job, or better say you are a fashion design, a designer, they gave you a material to say, okay, this is what I want. And that person don't just uh, give you nonsense job. Will you go there next time? Never. So this is what God requires of us. This competence. Is an attraction that drafts a multitude of souls, if you don't know. Hello? When you carry it, the 
this competence is an aroma that attracts people. Ordinarily, people wants to identify with you. When people begin to see, you know, the aroma, they'll begin to imagine, what, what was this man doing? There must be something why this person is succeeding. Are you guys getting me this morning? So by so doing, they wants to identify with you. I remember one faithful day when I went to church after closing, one prominent person that is known just walked to, up to me and said, ah, man of God, sir, who is, where is this your tailor shop? Why? I never knew he was actually assessing just the material. The, the tailor never knew this man from under. But because of what he saw that I put on, he started asking, where is this person? I said, okay, this is the address. Go to, but when you get to, I started giving the address. Praise God. Why? He's a man that knows what is good. So in other words, as a leader, you must ensure you deliver as expected of you. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Diligence and competence in his work. We are talking about the kingdom. And in as much you are growing in the kingdom, whatever you do, you will begin to grow. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. When you are building a capacity, a lot of inconveniences are bound to happen. Praise God. God expects us to build or work on our character and capacity and commitment. If not commitment, some of you will not be here. True or false? That is what God expected of every one of us. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. See what the book of Timothy said to us. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 17. He said that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. In, I believe everyone here under the sound of my voice we belongs to one various department or the other in the church. True or false? We must be well furnished. So many years ago, we were furnished. That is why we can boldly stand before multitude of people and started talking. Praise God. So, I so much believe that from here, giants will begin to emerge and address nations. Praise God. So, we must not fail to imbibe all this character or rather quality that God is giving to us. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. When you are gifted, add virtue. When you are gifted, add virtue. You know, one thing, one of the ministerial ethics that I understand, when fathers are sitting down, you don't need anybody to tell you that there should be some level of restriction. Hello? Or better still, when you are given a mind to come before the pupil, whereby multitude of souls are sitting down, you don't just talk carnally. Hello? People, people address you the way you, you present yourself, and there are things you shouldn't do. No matter how gifted you think you are. And it's so common. That is why you see it's very difficult for so many people, you know, to step in to know when their portal is open. Carry your atmosphere. That even when you are not around, everyone will notice that, yes, this person is not here. Hello? When Brother Evangelist carries minds to sing. Eh? Everybody will know that it's, it is evangelist that is singing. Eh? When our music directors man the stage, everybody will know that, oh, this person. Are we getting it at all? So you must carry that presence. Find God for yourself. Let's stop copying and pasting. Is one of 
the diseases we are suffering in the church today. Just copy and paste. No. Is that what God said? No. There is a part of God that we are still yet to discover for ourselves. Let's not just jump into it. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. When you are gifted, add virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, character. And to be patient, character and godliness is required. Character. You know, when you when you have people that you honor so much, and you now discover they are talking like a baby, you know, there's this you feel bad deep inside of you, even if you didn't say it out. Hello? Mind you, church, you might not understand there are people, the way they carry you, you don't know, they carry you like egg. But if you lose God yourself, your place, oh my God, as at when you will not discover, it will be too late. That is why it is expected of us that when we carry this gift, let's ensure we add virtue, knowledge, temperance, and patience. Praise God. Add to your skills. Add to your skills. Hello? I think this very month on the nation is coming. All the leaders ensure you add to your skill. The reason why you see that even when some persons are in the village, multitudes are pressing to go and look for them. It's as a result of what they carry. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Seek to understand the gospel. Your role to the gospel, you must ensure you seek. Not just come to church. Hello? People like us, we were pretty on this Z without knowledge. As at when we now sit down on our desk and begin to seek, we now discover a lot of manipulation. When you don't seek to know the gospel, ah, you will be manipulated. And may that not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Let godliness be your emphasis. As a leader, as a minister, let godliness be your emphasis. Take note, commitment is faithfulness in what you do. What is that thing you are asked to do? That particular position that God has entrusted in your hands. God expect that commitment. I pray God will give every one of us understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 and 2. He said, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the ministry of God. Moreover, it is required in steward that a man be found faithful. That a man be found faithful. Are you faithful in that assignment God has entrusted in your hands? When I step in, I hear Papa said, ah, if God did not call you, call God. And you cannot call God and God will still abandon you. There is no way. Even when, even when he calls you, he will not abandon you. Even when you call him, he will not abandon you. In other words, you must follow. Let this gospel just be your emphasis. Just follow. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Dedication. Dedication. So you must understand that all these things that I'm just dishing out to you, there are you, every one of us, we have followers. Either you like it or not. Dedication. People will just be watching. They will just be watching. Many of us, we are the God that people are seeing. And once you fail, it will affect them. When you are guilty of something, don't be ashamed to 
say, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't seeing it. Not this generation where Bible will say God and who, God did not see anything. No. I was, it was just me that was just thinking. And God, heaven will honor it. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. And we must ensure we walk in spirit. Walk in the spirit. There comes a time that anywhere I turn to, I'll keep hearing this voice inside me. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. I became restless. I was just walking. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. I tell you the honest truth. I, had, I, I went to a bookshop at first because I was just looking for materials. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. I started praying. I started praying. I started praying. I knew there was something God wanted to unveil to me. When you actually walk in this spirit and you are loyal to the gospel, God will order your step. He will direct you on what to do. Praise God. And by so doing, you are adding value to a kingdom. I pray that God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. I think I was told that uh, Lawrence Oyo, you have invited him here before. Okay, he came too. You see the way he covered the portion gave, God gave to him. So I personally, I just want to, most time, I just want to listen to him. He knew his portion and is dedicated in it. And many lives, not just millions, have been blessed. So, as an individual sitting here under the sound of my voice, you must understand that you carry an atmosphere whereby millions are waiting for you. Don't just do things the way every other person are doing it. Lately, do you know what a lot of ministers are now saying? When you turn to this upper Sapomba, there is a way this gospel something is just going. There is a man you I think you link up to us. One minister, I go, sir. That man, sir. Is somebody that I saw. I have to, I have to design the spirit. If he's a man, and you will understand, he don't just approach program anyhow. When I look at him, I could see his presence. This some years back. And I took note of him until I begin to detect where he's coming from. You can't be a son of this commission. And you are not producing the seed that has been given. Do your best so that you will contact. If I want to tap from you, I don't need anybody to tell me. If me, I book cal carry on. You're not going to know. My spirit will be open. The reason why you see that people are crying for miracle today, the miracle, you know, the, the impartation is not fought. Because even their heart is not open. They don't even know what to do to grab their own portion. So we must be open. When Yahweh is present in a meeting, be sensitive. You see altars like this. It's not a place where we talk anyhow. Men of different grace, they've mounted on this altar. There should be restriction to some expensive joke that we just this is an altar whereby when you have difficulties anybody can just come in here and lie down even in our home there is a portion altar so I remember when I was outside the nation I was just normal minister somebody was sick seriously he 
in my estate, in my condo. They started calling my cousins. Ah, where is your brother? Where is your brother? Where is your brother? They will call. They they be calling me pastor. Ah, he went to church. Hey, you know, the the case was so. person went to her. I said, okay, no problem. Go and lie down on that bed. I did it pray, sir. He went there. He's present. What makes you feel that even when some father, they, 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 they are in town, after leaving the hotel, even the host will not, he will say, leave that, leave that hotel room for me. He want to go there. Say, I want to, I need to connect. Because of what they carry. And when you begin to to put all this in place, you will continue to grow in grace like never before. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Take note, the church has a system. The church has a system. And everyone must be loyal to the system. Hello? Hello? That is your leader. He might be the choir leader. And you belong to that department. You must be loyal to the leader. Because the leader should give report to the father. Are we getting it now? Every department will equally have a leader. I will always say, I am not the overseer. There is a limit to some certain things I should carry it out, except I be given the permission to execute it. Even when I'm invited as a guest, sir, there are some certain things I shouldn't do, even without the permission of the Father in the house. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Why am I saying this? See, if we are not careful, there are some guests you will even invite that after leaving, it look as if you are starting all over again. Are we getting it now? So especially those of you in the music industry, gospel artists, sir, the program might be so large. If God did not ask you to go, Take away shame. Forget the, the, the poster, the billboard, whatever. Ask God. Ask God. The reason why people like us will fall victim on so many things in the time past. Because zeal without knowledge. Anything we have to ask God, what are you saying concerning this matter? Lord, what are you saying concerning this matter? Sir, it's possible that we pray for one week and we not hear it. A day to God will speak. He will speak and it will be so clear. I've seen people who say, Sir, this is what I wanted to do. I don't know. It's okay, we'll pray about it. I'll be praying and praying and praying. Sometime, it might just be when I, I'm in the office. In 10 minutes, God will just show me the, the full picture of everything. You will even give the answer. Many people will refuse. Say no. After trying and making losses, they now say, Pastor, you read talk on the million where you go waste to say you give me for add value to one or two things. What am I trying to say? Inquire of the Lord. Praise God. You must be loyal to the system. Be loyal to the system. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Take note, commitment is responsibility. Commitment is responsibility. Even as a pastor or leader, learn how to manage people. Learn how to manage people. If you ask me, sir, you are a reference, <laughs> you are a reference point to, do you know how many, anyhow, anyhow people that our papa manage? <laughs> anyhow. Papa will wear Jalabia every 7 o'clock and monitor be moving from one place to the other. You know, I was just thinking about all those things. Ah! Church, we must 
ensure we learn how to manage people. Sir, you, uh, you have uh, uh, experience in this field. You manage people. Some misbehave anyhow. Why some are very humble? Different kinds of people. In our various departments, let us learn how to manage people. We were not like this when we started. But God, through a vessel, manage our life and will become a better person. So that is what God requires of us. Please, you know you will be asked a question. Pastor Francis just have 30 minutes left. Put down your questions because we are not going to deliver question for question. Thank you for your understanding. Write your question down. Hallelujah. So take note, commit a committed Christian is a believer who takes off load or body from from their leaders or pastors. Hello? A committed Christian is a believer who takes off load or body from their pastors or from their leaders. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know that when you take off load, your leader will be very, very happy. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Let me quickly give us some few qualities of leadership that we need to emulate. You must ensure you lead with humility. Hello? Let that humility be there. I am not saying humility that you see nonsense, that you just say, okay, humility, that you will not take action. You take action. I remember uh, our father in the house once said, you know, they were asked to construct uh, this gate. You know, because they saw one beautiful design, they were doing it on their own. When he came here, who asked you people to do it like this? And so that uh, you have to go back. This is not what I ask you to do. I pray you have a good understanding about this in the name of Jesus. Leadership is not all about controlling. Many people like to control, control. This leadership is not all about controlling. And when you have these people, you know, definitely you will have problem with them. Because a lot of people, they don't have this sense of belonging, sir. They fed, oh, why will you even be controlling? Do you know that coming to church is voluntarily? People just decide, oh, so I want to serve this God. They did not come, you are not controlling, you know. They will be angry. They will, be, they will start looking for where they want to go, whereby they will have comfort. I pray God strengthen every one of us in the name of Jesus. One of the qualities of a volunteer is humility. It is humility that makes our fathers, our mother, many of you. That is why you are here, true of us. Are we the only worker or member in the church? Never. So, let's have this understanding. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, there is a story I was told. You know, is a story that even when you are sent to a place or better still transferred to a place, you are not their pastor yet to, you are not their leader yet to. You have to humble yourself because the person that was there is the person they know. Even when you are there, all your reports, they will be transferring it. They will be calling. Now so, now so, I don't know if Don't just say, okay, because I'm, I'm asked to do this here, or because I'm asked, I'm not the leader, then you will not start exacting your authority upon them. No. You don't just do that. Ensure you get, you know, you get to know them so that you can flow. Humility is needed to win the hearts of the members. Hello? Humility is needed to win the hearts 
of the members. That when somebody is at home, oh, he will be hearing your voice, choir leader. But now your voice, you know, but hear the voice of the pastor, but now your voice, he go just the hear. Are we together? Oh, the person is not in the church, but ah, he sees the way usher, the way, you know, they relate. He wants to be in the church. Mr. Jerisa, because of you, some persons, they are all, I'm not sure if you go to church today, but because of your personality, they want to be in the church. You see why this humility is very, very important. So every one of us, we must ensure we add value to this kingdom. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Every leader is different. Members do their comparison. If you don't know, take note of it. Every leader, better as the pastors, are different. It is the member that do their comparison. Hello? And it is humility that will help you to relate with your members. It is humility that will now help you to relate with them. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Another thing I want us to take note of, we should have a clear communication. You must communicate to the people clearly with that element of manipulation. Don't manipulate people. Don't manipulate people. It's so rampant in the church today where people are just manipulating people because of what they want to gain. Clear communication must be there. You must communicate to the people clearly without any element of manipulation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even as a leader, anywhere you find yourself, when you discover that this set of people are manipulating, separate yourself. Be sensitive. People like us, they manipulated us. But thank God for grace. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Empower people. Empower people. If you want to gain lifetime people, empower them. Empower them. Hello? There are many sons and daughters of this commission. No matter the kafashan, they go, they go wherever. Eh? They cannot forget their roots. They cannot erase it. Why? Somebody stood and empowered. Are you getting it now? Even in our businesses, all this teaching God is giving to us, it is not just only church alone. In that business, in your family life, empower people. You will gain lifetime. Example, one of the ways to gain or retain power is by giving it out to people. And that is what we'll be enjoying this commission. To go and do this thing. I don't know how to go about it. If you don't know, ask questions. Are we getting it now? But there are people, they want to sit upon it. They want to ensure that everything is coming. No, don't do that. When you give out power, oh my God, they will come back. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. When you, are, when you empower people, you will enjoy forever. You will enjoy forever. Are we getting it? Just lead you kind. That thing you call lead you. People will never forget it. No matter what, there are people you cannot erase out of your life. When you see someone valuable to your vision, reach out to him. Hello? Take note of this. When you see someone valuable, reach out to him. Our gospel artist, take note of this. When you see someone valuable, every one of us will not reach out to him. I think our father will know better what I'm trying to figure out. When you see something, someone valuable, reach out to that person. Many of us will define Jerry when he reach a corner. Hello? Why? There's something you are valuable about that. That is why you see people, ah, ah, Brad Jerry will have idea about this thing. 
There are things we want to do about construction. Everybody in this commission will know where to run to. Hello? Did we get anything at all? E.G., Jesus called his disciple. He called his disciple. He reached out to them. Follow me. I will make you fishers of men. These are men that we are struggling before. And indeed, when they identify everything about them, turn around for good. Take note. A leader creates a workable, a workable culture. Allow people to express themselves without being afraid. Hello? Because very soon, maybe our father will go for a mission in the United States for one month. And he will still come back home. Let everything, it will not look as if it's not in town. Hello? I think Papa and Mama, they need to at least for one month, they should go and enjoy themselves. So that, are we getting it now? Yes. Sir, so if you travel today, the workable, what you create, everything will still be functioning. Thank God for media now. Anywhere you are, your camera, you can be watching everything that is going on. So I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. My time is almost up. Demonstrate the value you preach. Hello? In that various department where you belong as a leader, demonstrate the value you preach. Reflect your value anywhere you go. Praise God. Anywhere you go, reflect your value. Maybe evangelist has forgotten. Evangelist, you remember so many years ago, when we carry keyboard from the church, we will go to some villages. Papa will even say, okay, you people should go and play drum for these people. Hello? There was a great anointing on these two pounds. That when I'm playing that, oh, that conga, not even just uh, uh, jazz, this conga. We go to places we enjoy, in fact, we, are, we enjoy doing all these things. I saw a pastor we normally go to, you know, I remember, I said, ah, those days who, me and the evangelist will just enter. Not this time that people are waiting for honorarium. We do it with joy. Just uh, if I get one church, we will go. But I don't know where this passion, where he traveled to. That you, you, we, we find it difficult to see even youth have passion for the things of God. I weep. I, at the time, I was just complaining. This is not how I was brought up. Why are all these things happening? It looks as if you are proving you know too much. See, let me tell you, the seed that has been planted inside of you, don't let it die. Don't let it die. I know what I'm talking about. We are not in a hurry. We are not slow in the move. We are on time. What will you be remembered for? Should be the question we should be asking ourselves. Do your best to monday your value you preach. Live by example. Be open to change and willing to adapt to change. Be accommodating. Matthew 15 verse 2. Be accommodating. Many of us are not accommodating. Praise God. As a leader, you must have a loving heart. Create an atmosphere for your members to operate in the supernatural. Oh, Papa is not in the house. I know some of us, we are into all these things. Every one of us, we can pray. Sir, somebody can just come here and complain wherever. There are some complaints that might even come. Papa might be tired. That's okay, no problem. I just carry his phone. Ah, uh, Evangel, where are you? Please call uh, Brother John. I know, sir, you people should come and attend to this person. Papa just needs rest. God can manifest the supernatural power through anyone. Are we together? Let's start having this sense of understanding. 
Let's not just carve it to one person. The reason why you see people are wearing now their attire. Because people refuse to, you know, to learn to step into their place of destiny. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Ensure as a leader, resolve conflict promptly. Show genuine care. Resolve it promptly. May we not accumulate them as if they come. Quick trasher. Now wait till you see so many of us will be father today. Any conflict, you quickly trash it. Praise God. Do you know children learn faster than even adults? Once they misbehave, you quickly spark a bum bum. Don't do this thing again. Next, even if they want to be, they'll be looking at your eye. They will not want to do it. I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we create room for question, we must ensure we carry this mentality of serving God largely. It requires our mindset. See, your mindset, your mindset, let it be circumcised. Praise God. Before any man fail in serving God, he first fail in his mentality. May that not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Until you have a new mind, you can't have a new life. Have a new mind. Have a new mind. Praise God. If it was by a large uh, congregation, they make impact. Maybe for never reach our tongue. Hello? Maybe for never reach our tongue. There are so many of you here under the sound of my voice. God is ready to decorate and honor you. We must imbibe all this quality. Every mindset requires new life. Old things are passed away, but everything has become new. My prayer for everyone, that which you are trusting God for, you are inquiring from God, there shall be speedy manifestation in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Any question? me question. Me get me any question when I go ask. Ensure 
you yourself do the right thing. And if you are not okay by it, there is an authority that you need to meet and say, ah, sir, there is this challenge I'm observing and it's giving me issue. I will want you to address this matter because this particular person is going out of line. And meanwhile, you ensure that you put that person in prayer. Pray for that person. Before you know, you will start seeing the change. The person that you are talking about, you will start living good example whereby <laughs> even the, the grievances you have before, it will disappear. Hello? You think people like us, we are good. We correct the corrector. <laughs> Praise God. But by the grace of God, the more we, we serve, the more we begin to learn the more we become a better person. You think God just become good overnight. No, he passed through fire. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Any other question?
that even this person was just prayed that, ah, let God bless me. Remember, he never said to me one day, ah, if God bless me, now I'm going to sponsor this person to school. Ah, I'm going to help this person. Do you know that it was just two months ago, this person was saying, people like them that were just saying, ah, they will do this thing for you. We are the one that travel abroad before us. This person, it was just two months ago, he not traveled out of the country. And he started reminding me that even when I came, he was one of the first person that met me where I lodged in the hotel. And I wasn't, the, I was just having just lean change. I was shared to him, give him. And he said, if I will go see you. He reminded me of those things. What am I trying to say? If you want to grow, identify with people that will boost your vision. What are you saying? My spirit, are they using fire some of them? People like evangelists. If evangelists misbehave, I will react to it. Me and you, we have day clothes. We, meet, we have a cup in heaven. Why? Because I know when the light shines, the way it's, you know, it's expected, the man standing here, eh? I will put my tongue and I will be posing. Many of us will never even know Moses, please, one on one. But now, now, now uh, our DP picture. Now it be. Are you getting it now? You must strive to become a better person. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Mama is supposed to be a detective. Right from the one. The anointing to feast things. May it just rest upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Let's repair things. I'm happy when I step in here. I'm happy. You know why I'm happy? Everywhere is. Eh? I'm happy. And just the same way our heart is only believing God for a mega turnaround. When it happens, you will understand that it is not only just going out and sharing trust. That multitude will begin to come see. Take note, I charge every leader, every minister in the house. We must engage in the prayer altar to dislodge forces that resist the inflows of multitude. Because there are destiny that is tied to this place for their blessings to showcase. We are not raising on entity in this place. Are we together? I pray may God help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's learn and become a better person. So anywhere that is not heady, this is the way from it. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Any other question? Mama, I believe I'll be able to Okay, somebody's Christian take up load for leaders. So I can you expatiate more on that aspect? A committed a committed Christian take up loads for leaders. Yes. It take load of leaders. Okay. Just like I said, our father in the house. I said, okay, next month, Papa. A mama, they will be going for holiday because program for program, they need some rest and they, are, they want to go for a mission, whatever. When they are not around, eh, there should be no vacuum. Are we together? Taking load off your leader, you know that there is need in their life. Sir, a testimony was shared that a pastor has been preaching. Two of his members, God bless them. They carry the pastor to say, ah, Pastor, come, may we go somewhere. They go to play road. They say, make you choose any car of your choice. Do you know what the pastor said? Ah, name of what? Eh? Oh, I say, make you choose any car of your choice. But he don't get house. 
Are you getting it now? They now ask him, okay, do you have a lie? He said, yes. They went to the land. Before, behold, they enraged the house. The, mo- the car is still coming. But first of all, say, ah, if I drive motor, it goes where I go repair them. But I don't get house. Say, ah, now so they rush, rush. In, they don't let time to finish before you, you know, before you know. He said, want enter. They say, no, make them package and you know, that was how. That body, that tenant, right now, if you go to some park these days, we have some uh, real estate in the house. They will say, may you pay six hundred thousand for three bedroom flats. How much? How much will your salary for one month? Are you getting it now? But it was the member that God through his servant to bless. These were the member that say, ah, this is our pastor. He needs a car. And I said, ah, car not be my problem now. I don't get house. And they arrange it. Hello? Okay, you want your pastor to now carry me and say, ah, who will not just get my house? That is why you need to carry his presence. You need his presence. Hello? See, if God blesses you, you don't need permission. You see those fine design, designers, you see out there. You have good tailor. When God blesses you, if you buy two for yourself, make that grace this day for your mind. Say, man, I buy one for my pastor or for my leader. Mind you, not just say, okay, pastor now. That leader, your department, bless him. See, there are numerous ways you can tap. Are we together? You will just connect. Evangelist, na na militant for that aspect. He ready buy one granite and one bottle of water. You understand? Eh? I celebrate you, you know. By so doing, you are adding value to the kingdom. And there's something that is dropping. Every meeting there is an impartation. Did you get it now? Beautiful body. There are people in need in the church. When you just observe and you know you have the capacity, solve it, they will not come to the pastor again. But we have some stumble one who we observe to say, okay, be like, say you don't show with this. Mommy, I never eat this. So. Are you getting it? All this set of people, they still need prayer. They still need to be taught. Do you know how many people will come, they will complain? Papa will start cracking his head. He will distribute himself to fist things. So when you are engaging, putting a stop or in all these things, you are removing body. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Cover those leakages. Cover it. Cover it. Cover it. These days, people are looking for a well packaged place to, to go and identify. Package your place. This one not fine like this. Answer me, church. Enough I like this. I fall in love with this thing. This ties very far. And God is going to strengthen everyone and increase everyone that ensure that all these things are put in place. I pray may God help us in the name of Jesus. Any other question? Okay, sir. A minute. Somebody want to to ask. Okay, ask. Yes. As a leader or as an elder or any other person, you want to empower someone and the, the person you want to empower does not have the ability or does not have the zeal. What is the person going to do about this situation? Okay. See, before you empower anybody, you need to know the strength of that person. Just know the strength of that person. You can even engage that person. Just talk with this the person. Say, what can you do or what do you do? What are you into if you don't have idea of it? If you discover that this person don't even have left or right, eh, ensure you see how you can bring that person close begin to talk to him, encourage him, you know,
you know, show him the part you think you know. Are you getting it now? No, we are bad. This day, the challenge we have because I see that, oh, Papa is selling car. And I have small money, I want to be selling car. It's not like that. Are we getting it now? It's possible that it's pure water, I will just be selling. Come, pure water, mineral, I will be selling. I will look for a shop. God blesses a man based on the work of his head. So don't just invest in, on, uh, in an empty ground. If you invest in some people and like you empower them, they will, in fact, they will use it to eat. That is when they will know they need to buy all manner of assorted whatever. They want to go and eat good food. Before you know, there will be no money. That's why you see so many of our people in the diaspora, they are facing challenges. Not that I don't feel given 500 times for me to start business. Nothing to show for it. It's not as if some of them don't know because they venture into a different field. They have no knowledge about. I pray may God help us in Jesus' name. Are we okay by that? Hallelujah. Please, let's celebrate. Please. Hallelujah. Please celebrate Pastor Francis. It's a song that, that is a song. When somebody is too big, we don't call them son again. We call them papa. So it's not to papa. Praise God. I'm very happy that that you are here today. Actually, you have blessed my soul. I, I, I won't be using hearts. I want it to go deeper. The Lord will enrich you. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll be going on break. If you break, Before we go to the final uh, section, so which is the third uh, section, we just concluded the second section. By the special grace of God, we'll be talking about the third section, and our pastor is already in the house. And this pastor, Pastor Muyi, is a very very busy person. And I told you, all the pastors that came here are always busy. But he said, ah, Daddy, we, we don't have option that we must come. We must find a way to come. And actually, he is here. Uh, please help me celebrate him one more time. He has so many reasons why he should be here. But he's here because he has more reason why he should be here. Hallelujah. You know, the work of God has so many reasons why we must do it. Even when there are other things that attract life, just like you too, you have so many reasons why you won't be here. We we'll ask you now, why would you be here? You say, ah, there is one man that I need to fix his work. But we have to come. And he's here. Please celebrate him again one more time. Something just dropped in my mind when Pastor Francis was like saying, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I said, why is this man happy and happy? He said, I'm happy. He said, look at, I'm happy, I'm happy about these ones. But something just struck my heart. And I said, and before I said it, he said, God will bless all the hands that have made it work. I want to appeal to somebody here. That is what I do. Heaven is bearing me witness. If I enter a place, I see something good. Even though I didn't talk about it, what I will always say is God will bless these people that did this thing. The people that are responsible for this now have already collected blessing now. Blessing is not, Pastor, pray for me, lay hand on me. No, forget to. Oh. There are people that just come and say, wow. Ah, God will bless these people. And the people are not even aware that somebody just said that. And blessings start coming. God have a war fighting for those people. Because somebody just saw it and they love it. And he said, God bless them. 
Do you know there's something that is still happening again? You will see on the road. You say, Ah, who do this thing? Don't be just better for us. The person didn't come for prayer, but what he did, that's what Jesus said. What the Lord said, He said, Because you have done this, because of this thing that you have done, He blessed you, I will bless you. If they walk out, they go now. Road where they walk out, they pass. You just see shit for grant for them. What will you do for road? You will say, God will bless you with shit for you. And if you see shit and you are coming back, that shit is no longer there. What will you say? God bless this person and pack this shit. Come on. Because this shit, we don't need to rubbish for here. You know what God told me? This one, a new thing, Abina, for your RB. It's new. Please always learn how to do new things that they have not seen before. Because you get where this prayer go reach. Oh, oh, oh. It goes stop. But the person don't already collect that. And that new thing will come, will come to overshadow that one. People will come, they pray for that one. They don't come, they pray for the one where fed day that time. But the guy will pray, I will sit there and say, Lord, those people that help in this foundation, they will come to the talker. As a Francis did not pray for the foundation, but he don't fail to that prayer pass. But now that he start praying for ties and the, the altar, and by the time you will see this altar again, by the special grace of God, I know you are going to be joining us to pray for those people who have been of a very great help to this ministry. And God will reward every one of you in Jesus' name. When Papa Lisa did that, uh, did something and that uh, pulpit that we're having here, anybody that comes say, ah, I like this pulpit too. Any man of God that will come and see me will say, I like this pulpit too. I'll say, it's one of mine. Say, God will bless him. That's what people will just say, God will bless him. We don't know what is keeping us. Just little God bless you from somebody that you look to be lead you. He can turn a lot of things for us. All right, without taking much time, the man of God is here already. Praise God. We are going to appeal to him. He will just be patient with us so that we can hear him well. We will go and take refreshments. Then we are they are already clapping for me because they know I'm saying the truth. Because some of us have not eaten since morning. Right on, is very there already. So please, you will just be a little bit patient with us. Let's take refreshment and we are going to be fast about it. We are going to eat like laborers. We are not going to eat like kings. Do you know how laborers eat? As, as you just come down from the Lebuke place where it's plastering. As you just come down, if they wash the hand, not they wash and clean with soap. You go just do it like this. And you don't they eat. Even for standing. As they eat, finish. You know, they say, let me rest. You don't see any person where they do the book and walk. You go chop inside, you want to go there like that. As they chop and finish, the meat, if meat day. You see, they mouth. You don't they climb, you can say, give me smith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, that type we want to eat. We know, not please, not just they chop, me can, me can. They chop and like say, you just do your. Just say and say, in a minute you be. Soldier, not the sit down chop like that. So eat your food quick. I don't say, make care. Take water, drink water, take care of yourself. Praise God. So please, they, eh? eat in one minute and come out quick. Because once I ring bear, anywhere your own don't reach, now there you take through. Yeah. Praise God. Don't you see, they say, there is fire on the mountain. Run, run, run. What they say, fire is over. They run, stop. Where you... Eh? No, it's not going to waste. Dog, um, Oscar, Bindi, Ra, um, uh, Lucy, and uh, what did be the name of the other one? Daisy. All of them are there to eat it. Food not the waste for this house. The dog needs to eat. Even when you say the food is not for dog, but they will say those ones where they don't put your finish is meant for dog. God bless you. Thank you very much. Father, we thank you. Bless those food. Sanctify it, O Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.